Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing fine myself, and I'm here to review the 2009 post-apocalyptic, well, yeah, you could say post-apocalyptic or apocalyptic film, directed by John Hillcote. The Road is adapted from the Cormac McCarthy um, novel, um, well, yeah, um, novel, which is this film is adapted from. So this film is sorry, um, this film's. I want to get straight in as I do with most movie reviews, and I'm going to get straight in my thoughts on the film, as in a rating. So I'd most likely, again, when I rate films, I don't rate them in terms of like if it's a nine out of ten, it's like this is like up there with like the top like thirty films of all time. But I mean that as in the sense like it's nine out of ten. It's it, it's a nine out of ten. It's a great film. If it's a ten out of ten, it doesn't necessarily mean like oh my god, it's like the greatest movie of all time. It just means that it is a 10 out of 10 and it's a really perfect film. Like, I just don't know what it means. And I'm gonna give this film. It just means that it is a 10 out of 10 and it's a really perfect film. Like, I just don't know what it means. And I'm gonna give this film a very, very specific 8.9 out of 10. Um, actually, this is actually a pretty underrated film as well. Um, Bro, just stop saying um. Just shut up. This film stars, um, it hasn't really got any uh, main character names, it's like man and boy and all that, but um, I read the synopsis of the back of the film, off the back of the DVD. The Road is a thrilling and deeply moving tale of survival as a father and his young son journey across a barren, post-apocalyptic America. Respectfully adapted from Cormac McCarthy's hallowed novel, The Road boldly imagines imagines a future in which men are punished, are pushed to the worst and the best that they are capable of. A future in which a father and a son are sustained by love. So this film, um, are basically, it's after, the, the world is in a post-apocalyptic state and it's not necessarily like a war or wipeout. It doesn't actually describe in the film, but it isn't kept to be one of them, like, secrets. It's just not, just, it's just not explained in the, um, in the movie, really. Um... But there is, they basically have to go through in this bleak America, as it says on the back, um, in the synopsis, and just try and survive really through all the rock, through just like pe- perilous incidents and loads of stuff like that. And it's a it's a very emotional film. It plays it so well. So I gave it an eight point nine. Out of t- it was eight point seven. I don't remember what I gave it. It was eight point nine, right? Oh, yeah, I give it an eight point nine because. It's, it's so well made, and it's got so, so gripping as well. It's got so many great characters, great actors in this film as well. It's even got a little Guy Pierce cameo towards the end. Um, it's it's just a really great film, and um, it's it's not like... It's emotional. It's definitely very emotional. It's very, very gripping, but it's not to the point where like it's like so massive. It's like a whole... It, it makes a whole like cinematic universe in and of itself. It's just a film... Where it's like the main bond is love, but it's like broken a lot because well, what do you think? Um, and yeah, it's great. It's just it's just so well made. So man, again, I really did enjoy it, and it was received well. It wasn't like it was received bad, but it was just considering it was slightly underrated. And, but no, honestly, this is this is a really great film. I, it's super well made. I love the actors in it. Um, Okay, Viggo Mortensen does a great job in this film. It's very emotional towards the ending, which I'm not going to spoil, unless you've seen the film, which you most likely have. But in case you just you haven't and you're watching me for the sake of it, um, it's got it's got a pretty um, sad, like, yeah, you could say climax. This film isn't a very climatic film. There's not, like, much action. Like, most post-apocalyptic films I watch. For example, let's say... Uh, I'm getting a video real quick. <laughs> Films like I Am Legend, which again, um, this one here, this film here is about zombies. Um, again, brilliant film. Um, but this film here is about zombies. Yeah, zombies. And and again, lots of other um, post-apocalyptic films I have are about like aliens and robots and like diseases and stuff like that. This film here, there is really no like. I like films like these. There is really no main like climatic action point for example like oh my god this man is fighting a robot how cool is that very cool <laughs> um but it's not like that it's just there's like perils along the way um for example there's obviously because people are starving 
<coughs> pardon me. <coughs> Whoa. There's also cannibalism because we're gonna eat. And I think you that's the main peril of the film. It's also got a great um cameo. What's his name? He's he was in um Terminator the Sericana Chronicles. And he's really great. Garrett Garrett Dillahunt. Um he's actually really great. He's, he's only got a small cameo in it and he like sort of sets off a fast action scene of the film, which I'm not gonna spoil. But when I say cannibals, I don't mean like cannibal holocaust can cannibals like <laughs> like you know, okay, man. It's just it's just people not, not like, you know, cannibals in the sense of like a horror film cannibal. The traditional but it's just people who are like, I'm hungry, I've got this group of people with me, we're not gonna eat each other. We're gonna eat you instead. It's like that. Um, but yeah, so, again, I really did enjoy the film. It's, it doesn't, it's not overly diverse or anything like that. It's just a really, really great apoc uh, post-apocalyptic film. I'm just going to call it apocalyptic film because it's like, sets in between different, like, flashbacks and stuff. Um, that, is, again, is a complete, is completely recommended. And, yeah, so it's a really great film, really great actors and really awesome story. Uh, yeah, so um, now we're going to get on to the unboxing part of the video, so I'll flip the camera around and focus on the Blu-ray, so see you then. Alright guys, so here's the Blu-ray, so we have that really, really awesome cover there, obviously there's multiple covers for this film, like most movies, but this is the main one. The film everyone should see, The Independent, loads of great um, reviews there. Magnificent and Masterpiece, Sunday Mirror and The Daily Mirror. As there it is the information about the adaptation. It's the spine. Icon the road. Back. A heartbreaking classic. And there is the synopsis if you want to read in better detail. Some cool photos on the back there. See it twice. The first one reminds you of the genius of the book. The second one reminds you of the brilliance of the film. Which I mean, fair enough. Um, and it actually also has some cool um, special Blu-ray extras, as they're called, such as an audio commentary, Walking Into Darkness, The Road Documentary, and The Making of and Steel's Gallery. 15 contains infrequent strong language, in strong violence, the language and gory images, which I mean, you could say there's gore in it. It's more or less violence, but, well. Um, inside of the Blu-ray, it's just completely plain. You have the disc, with the similar as the cover back and yeah that is the unboxing part of the video for the road sorry if you can hear like annoying party music outside it's summer i hope you can't hear that anyway um so that was my review for the 2009 john Hill hillcote film the road adapted from the obviously the novel of the same name if you guys did enjoy the, my review um if you did make sure you can subscribe and like if you well, not really like but you can comment if you'd like if that turned off it's <coughs> i don't know um have a great day i'll see you on the next video take care Bye bye